Okay, step one, we need to be organized. We would like to get a list created and uh, get your pen or pencil and you make your list. Uh, we definitely want to be able to have paint and water-based paint is, uh, is required because we want to be able to have a, the opportunity to be able to have the paint dry quickly, which you'll be able to use a uh, heat mechanism that you can blow some heat to dry things off. Uh, so you want to have paint, heat, and also one of your most important items is your a glue gun. This glue gun is very important because it'll be able to uh, help you put things down and you can come back later on and reinforce it, but the glue gun is your friend, okay? A different size. Uh, I'm showing you this because it's a, a larger uh, glue gun for a larger area that you may be, uh, that you can also use. But right now, let's focus on the smaller glue gun. Uh, you want to be able to have a pair of scissors because you want to be able to cut off and cut off pieces of paper, but also you want to be able to cut your shapes. Okay, so look in your hubbard, cupboard and see if you can find some paper and also a sharp pair of scissors. This is important also. You want to be able to have the opportunity to be able to cut a straight line and uh, this is a great item to use and if you want to go pick up something from um, from your art supply store this is great remember keep these out of the hands of young people uh, this is dangerous if you're not knowing how to use it next you want to be able to always have a nice firm ruler uh, wood is good but uh, metal is even better because you want to be able to use it when you're cutting and tracing and making your design. This is going to be very important. In making cards, it's very important to be able to to have precise lettering. If you're not creative with your lettering, uh, look in some of your little boxes and find some of these stamps. These stamps are great. Uh, it makes it very easy to uh, create these pleasant cards. Thinking of you, that's one of my favorites because you can send that to anyone and give them an uplifting, especially at these times right now. Uh, this is excellent also. Printing it in black and white and then coming back and then using colors that gives it a really great effect. So stamps are great. It alleviate, uh, alleviate a lot of the, um, the expertise in creating things. Uh, next, uh, we want to be able to have magnets because in your package, when we, we're not going to throw any of the materials away, so we're going to upcycle everything that we have here. So using the uh, magnet, you can actually uh, use this to be able to make f refrigerator uh, uh, designs and uh, anything else that you can contain it, put on the wall with a magnet. Here, markers are great because you want to be able to have, quote, dry art. Uh, with markers, you can create some fantastic designs without using water. Um, color pencil is great mm -hmm. also. And uh, I'm going to give you some more information about the paper best paper to use is uh, watercolor paper. You can, you can use it for tracing, um, for also cutting out stencils, but the remnants of those, you can then create an art piece from that. So I want to show you how to use those pieces. Uh, and uh, if you collect beads, very important, because we want to be able to make three-dimensional reliefs, and I'll show you how to work with these materials. Everything here is going to be used to create some fantastic projects and the first project we're going to be looking at is gift cards and sentimental things that you can actually send out to people or share jeans are important cut the jeans up and upcycle that so uh, give it does take a break and then we can get started okay i'm going to show you a session of using wet washing or just a little bit of water and also a little a little bit of um, uh, water-based paint. Uh, it's similar to uh, watercoloring but we're going to just use your acrylic. I'm going to show you a couple of steps and this is going to be one of the uh, easier or comfortable way of breaking in and of creating cards. First what I'll do is get a uh, couple brushes. This is a good brush. This is a good brush and what you do is you dip it in the water. Water is always your friend. Okay. It's also good to have some nice music playing and you get relaxed and get your little solitude going. Next you will use, you go from light to dark. So you put your light 
white is always good or off white is good to be able to start the center second you want to get some yellow just strokes 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 think about natural light so that's what we're doing right here the second will be orange and later on we're going to go through the color process so you can get a better understanding of what I'm doing here so I'm going to do one really you know if you really got a heavy hand it's okay white neutralizes, so you can put that white right in there there you go and there's never a mistake you make adjustments so don't think you need to start all over again strokes just like that just real easy if you had a long day uh, at the office or at the computer, you come here, here and see, and then get into your music and your art. Get your solitude going. Okay, now.